Hey guys, so as expected, Apple today released a few betas. iOS 18.1 Developer Beta 3 is now available for registered developers. And if you're a public beta tester, you'll most likely see this populate for you within the next 24 to 48 hours as of the filming of this video. Now, iOS 18.1 Developer Beta 3 was released alongside iOS 18 Beta 8. Now, as I always like to mention, Apple is currently testing two different versions versions of iOS 18, iOS 18.0, which is set to be released here mid to late September, so in about two weeks from now, and iOS 18.1, which is set to be released mid to late October with Apple Intelligent features. Now, both betas were released today, so if you're running 18.0 beta, the eighth beta is now available for download, and if you're running 18.1, the third beta is now available. And again, if you're in the public beta testing program, you should see this populate for you within the next 24 hours or so. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that iOS 18.1 Developer Beta 3 brings a few changes that I want to talk about in today's video. However, iOS 18.0, the eighth beta, does not really bring any changes at all in terms of new features. This one only brings you know some minor under the hood improvements and performance gains so as you see right there the download can be anywhere from 300 to 400 megabytes give or take depending on your device and ios 18.0 is basically done finalized although it is currently sitting in beta 8 we're not going to see any changes whatsoever as a matter of fact ios 18 is now being flashed into iphone 16 which will be dropping in late september so the software is already completed apple is just doing minor tweaks and it is ready to go no changes to talk about there but let's talk about ios 18.1 developer beta 3 now as we go into apple's developer website iOS 18.1 Developer Beta 3 was released alongside iPadOS 18.1 Developer Beta 3. macOS 15.1 Beta 3 was also made available. Now for iOS 18, we get iOS 18 Beta 8, iPadOS 18 Beta 8, as you see here, macOS 15 Beta 8, tvOS 15 Beta 8, and VisionOS 2 Beta 8, and watchOS 11 Beta 7 for some reason... The Apple Watch did not get the beta, at least not yet, but we'll keep you guys posted. I'll let you guys know any updates in regards to watchOS. But anyway, I want to go ahead and shift my attention over to iOS 18.1 Developer Beta 3 because this is the software that contains two changes that I want to talk about in today's video. So let's start off with the cleanup tool, which is now available within iOS 18.1 Developer Beta 3. So basically, if you have an image, right, and you want to clean it up, you want to remove something from the background, a subject or something like that, you can click here, and now you have the new cleanup tool which allows you to either tap scrub or brush away any item or anything that you may want to clean up from an image so you see there that apple intelligence will highlight things that are in the background there are people and cars and things like that so you can tap on an item and then remove it from the background just like so as you can see i can obviously go backwards and redo that if i want to go ahead i can circle that as well and remove that item from the background as you can see right there or I can just go ahead and honestly, I can just simply tap it or circle it or scrub it away. But I think tap, since Apple Intelligence already selected, you can see there I can remove any objects. And this is the cleanup feature that we were talking about that was rumored to be coming to iOS 18.1 with Apple Intelligence. It is here within the third beta, and I think it does a great job. Again, you can brush items away as well. So take a look here. Let's say I want to go ahead and clean up this person right here and just brush it away just like so, and it will remove that person from from the background just like that i think it does a great job at it and this is basically the first version of cleanup for photos within ios 18.1 developer beta 3 but as you can see right there it is working relatively well now something else that apple has expanded on is the fact that you can now summarize more applications for messages. So for example, when you update to iOS 18.1 developer beta 3, you will see this new setup screen for summarizing notifications with Apple Intelligence. And it's now a lot more apps beyond the usual mail and messages application, which was initially mentioned at WWDC. Now you can see social media and third-party messaging applications here that could be summarized as you see right there. And obviously this is all part of Apple Intelligence. 
intelligence, and it is now something that's new within the latest iOS 18.1 developer beta 3. Now, aside from that, I'll continue digging around the software to find additional changes, but keep in mind, guys, iOS 18 is already completed. No major changes happening here, just under the hood improvements. This software could be released as early as September the 16th. I've always mentioned that day as one of the days that Apple could be releasing this software. So we're looking at about two and a half weeks, perhaps even earlier. The iPhone event is set for September the 9th. So I'm thinking a week later on September the 16th, we could see iOS 18 officially released to the public. But keep in mind, we'll continue testing iOS 18.1 with Apple intelligent features. And that's set to be released mid to late October. Thank you for watching this quick update, guys, on some of the latest new features for iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.